Hey, what's happening, everybody? My name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In today's tutorial, I want to talk about Google Firebase and how to launch your Gatsby website. I have my Firebase console right up here at firebase.google.com, and I have my de facto default template. We have our Gatsby Spaceman, I have React Bootstrap, I'm using my Gatsby Shutter default to launch a site onto Firebase. In this tutorial, I wanna show you how to take your website from development and put it onto Google Firebase. And with that, let's get started. All right, what's up everybody? My name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. And if you've been watching this for a while, thank you very much. If you are brand new, then I hope I'm bringing you some sort of great content every week on this channel. And this week I wanna talk about Google Firebase. It's a great tool for hosting websites, but there's no drag and drop like there is with Netlify. You just have to use the CLI or the command line interface. So I have a site right here. I have my home starter template with the React Bootstrap. This was my version of a template that I made. My templates to me are really boring. They just look like a boring template that I can then plug content into. So let's just change this just to make sure we are changing the right content. I'm gonna go to my pages and my index. Now I am gonna use VS Studio Code for this. This is my preferred way of coding. I can't believe I'm saying it, but it is a Microsoft product and it works really, really good. So let's just change this from high people to this will be deployed on Google Firebase. Save it and it should change. This will be deployed on Google Firebase. Awesome. Now that we have the website, let's actually deploy this onto Google Firebase. So let me just hide this content right here. I'm gonna to go to Firebase. Now you do have to have a Google account to use Firebase because it is, well, Google. So I'm gonna use my Nautilus designs and I'm gonna to go to console. Now I already have a bunch of projects in here, but I'm gonna create a new one for now a demonstration purpose. So add project. What I'm gonna do is let's start with a project name. So I will call this one the Firebase demo project, it's probably not gonna be, yeah, it's gonna say it's probably gonna create a unique identifier which is AF34F or the FIRD demo project. Awesome, keep in mind that once you set this name, you cannot change that. So now I'm at console.firebase.google.com and I'm creating a project. So this has obviously been taken, so I can't do it, so we'll call it 123321. And nope, can't call it that either. Demo project, a designer who codes. Uh, sure, let me pause and figure out why this is not working. So it turns out all I had to do was select an organization, which of course my company, Nautilus Designs, is right here and I had to select it. So once again, I just had to say done and we're all set to go. So I created, I'm going, I should say I'm creating a project, let's continue. And if you wanna set up any analytics for your Firebase project, I'm gonna turn this off only because I don't need to use this right now. If you do, go for it, but you don't have to have it set up at any given time. Let's create the project, and I did call mine demo project, a designer who codes. And so far that took all right. Again, this is just the name you're gonna see. This is internal. You're not have to worry about it at all externally. So you can call it my favorite project and no one's gonna see it unless you actually do a video like I'm doing. So your new project is ready. Cool. So we are now in the console for Google Firebase. There's a lot of things you can use this for. There's authentication if you wanna create a membership. There's database, there's storage but I wanna focus in is the hosting area because I wanna host my projects on this website. Let's also take a look if we do a quick little search and let me see if I can click the, this one. Here it is, view plan details. Just so you're aware on cost, by default it is free. But just so you go down here, if we go down to hosting, for free you get 10 gigabytes of data 
and 10 gigabytes per month transferred. Now you also get an SSL certificate when you do connect a domain name and you can have multiple sites per project. But just so you know that you do get this for free and what happens if you go above and beyond, then you can calculate your pricing and say, you know what, let's go down to hosting. So if I have a really, really popular website, let's say I have 175 gigabytes transfer, that's 85,500 pages of static content, it would cost me 24.75 per month. So by default, it is free, but if you do wanna go above and beyond, then it does cost you money to host your site with Google Firebase. I will tell you also, I thought I did run, we hit 80% one time, and it did warn us that we hit 80% one time. So once I'm done looking at the pricing model of it all, I don't have to worry about storage or cloud functions or anything else, I'm just focusing on hosting. Now what I wanna do is I wanna set up my hosting. So hosting, deploy web and mobile apps in seconds to using a secure global content delivery network. Basically host the website for me, Google. That's what I'm thinking of. So I'm gonna say get started. Now, if you are familiar with the CLI because you are running Gatsby in some form of React, then you're probably aware that you already have installed some sort of CLI tools. So I'm gonna go through and do this as much as I can only because I've already previously installed Firebase. I'm gonna stop and, oh, hello, I need to run Gatsby's update. I'll do that later on. I'm gonna copy step one to install Firebase CLI. So I'm gonna copy it. And then once again, because it has dash G, that stands for global. So I can install this anywhere. So I'm gonna copy and paste, and I'm gonna install the Firebase tools. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I might need a sudo, I might not. Let's take a look. I haven't done this for a little while, so I haven't remembered exactly what I was doing but let's run this and see how it's gonna work. Once again, this is done just once to install the Firebase tools. I've already done this, so it's just gonna install a newer version. And every so often, like you see with the Gatsby CLI right up here, it will eventually warn me to update the Firebase CLI or the command line interface. So this is taking a little longer than I thought. I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's done. Oh, maybe even not that. I do have to add the sudo because I couldn't write the path properly. So I'm gonna say sudo, paste it in, add my password to my project, and now it will install successfully. So just so you know, you will have to use the term sudo. I'm on a Macintosh and I did have to give it super user access, as super user do. It's a kind of a fun name, sudo. And hey, check it out, we're done, that was easy. So Firebase Tools, version 8.4.3, added three packages. So I did have an older version, 13 seconds, we're off to the races. So we're looking pretty good. I'm gonna say next. So next thing I have to do is I have to log in in my CLI with my Google account. Now I am already logged in previously, so I'm just gonna say Firebase log out, because I'm not quite sure which of my accounts it actually was logged in or logged out. Oh, it was Nautilus. So in this case, what I have to do is I have to say Firebase login. And what it's gonna do is gonna pull open. Yes, I do, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna choose my Nautilus account and I'm gonna allow Firebase CLI to view and actually manage my project. Cool, I'm logged in. Now what I have to do is do a Firebase init. I have to initialize this project. So thank you Firebase for letting me copy and paste. I'm gonna say Firebase init. And now it's gonna give me this really cool, I call it ASCII art. If you don't know what ASCII art is, it kind of creates this kind of cool design with just type, or in this case, pound signs. It feels 1990s all over again. So in this case here inside of my CLI, I'm gonna go down and just say, I wanna configure hosting. So if I hit the space bar to select the hosting, I just have to use my arrow keys to go up and down, and I selected hosting. So I'm gonna use an existing project. Hit the return key, and it's gonna figure out which one do I have to do. In this case, I'm gonna use the fur project ADWC. Hit the return key, 
and do you want to use as your public directory? I want to use public, so I'm going to hit cool. Do you want to configure the single page app? Nope, I do not. And file already exists, so let's just say no to not overwrite it. And cool, we're all done in this case. Now, what I have not done yet in my Gatsby project is notice now there is a public folder sitting in my area. And I do have a 404 page that looks a lot like uh, Google Firebase's 404. But what I wanna do is I wanna now do a Gatsby build and it's gonna build into my public area. So I have to say Gatsby build. And by default, the Gatsby build will build into the public folder. So if we give it a second or two, this is the old server that it's still running on. Looks like it's almost done building. Let's go back to the finder. So it's gonna build a production JavaScript and CSS files. Every time I think I should pause the video, it doesn't take as long. And every time I think I shouldn't pause the video, it takes longer. So there it goes. Now we're talking public files rocking and rolling. So it now built my site in my public folder that Google Firebase is gonna use. So once I'm done with the login and the init or the initialize, I just have to say Firebase deploy. Put your static files, HTML, CSS, JavaScript in your apps deploy directory, which of course the default is public. So if I copy and paste this, what's gonna do is it's gonna upload these files to the fur, F-I-R, <laughs> should have probably change that, but whatever. Fur project, A-D-W-C, and we're done. Like, that's it. So if you wanna test it, you can hold the command key down and go to, in this case, mine's fur project, A-D-W-C, and there is my website. It's literally live online for you to look at. And if I go back, and if I say continue to console after all of this, what's gonna happen is it's gonna show you your usage. So it'll tell you that I really haven't used anything yet, but what's gonna eventually happen too is you're gonna have a release history. So if I were to change my project, so let's just do a Gatsby develop here. And before, we had this will be deployed on Google Firebase. So let's just change the title just so we can show a change happen. And I'll show you now I'll have two builds of my project eventually. So I did hide my code. So let's type this one and say this year is 2020 just to make a different title. If I save that, Cool, this year is 2020. Let's save this, let's build it out, and let's do a Firebase deploy. And you can deploy as many times as you want. So I'm gonna say Gatsby build. Now which if you haven't noticed also, I'm not having to go into GitHub in order to launch this project. That's totally fine and you can also connect this to GitHub just to have a backup repository if you want to but it's not required. So it kind of creates one less step on the Firebase train. So cool, we've got it here. Let's create a Firebase deploy. And with any luck, what's gonna happen? Deploying hosting, 90%, just like one file, but it's you know public files, so it might take a few seconds longer. So let's head back over to Firebase. And now if I refresh this page, what you should see is two different uh, builds. So the release history. So if I just, uh, I really messed this up, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to go back to the other one I did. I can literally just come over here and say rollback. So this is your version to backups even within Google Firebase. And this is how you can launch your site. So if I refresh this page, this year is 2020. And just like that, I created a new version on Google Firebase 
through Gatsby Build. Ready to continue becoming a better web designer through code? Check out more of my videos through my channel, A Designer Who Codes. Thanks so much for watching.